Hi, welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create a sequential access file and also how to write to that file. So let's jump into the programming. So in code blocks, we will create a new empty file and we will save this file onto our desktop and we will call this write file.c and we will save this so we will start by including our standard input and output library we will create our main function and also add our return zero statement we will build and run and make sure that our program executes successfully and as you can see, it did. Thereafter, we will start to first create a pointer that will point to a file data type. And we will say file star, and we will call this CF pointer. Now this CF pointer will point to a newly created file. After we have created the CF pointer variable of type file, we will do the following. We will say if, and then inside this if, we have a statement to create a new file. And we will say CF pointer, oops, CF pointer is equal to F open, and we will say in this F open, we're going to create a students.txt file. And after the if open we will define how we will open this and we're going to use the w now this w is important it stands for write and if we write if we say w we create a new txt file and we make sure it's clean okay so if we say w we create and it's a clean.txt file even if students.txt exist if that file exists and we say students.txt and in double inverted commas w it will open that file and clean it then it's going to be clean if we want to add to an existing file we need to say a for append so it will open and not delete all the contents but we want to create a new students.txt file so this statement here will open up a new students.txt file that's clean and then what we will do is we're going to say is this equal to null so we're asking now this cf pointer will open and if it's equal to null we will know the following and we can have a printf statement for this and if this whole statement is equal to null the program was not able to create a .txt file called students and therefore we can tell the user a problem occurred so if the file could not be opened okay maybe exclamation mark so we always need to do this this is good programming because what happens if we could not open the students.txt file so this will ensure that if it could not be opened we can give appropriate feedback to the user and tell him file could not be opened and then he will know there was a problem 
But now, if it could be opened, we can say else. And then we can actually start to write to the students.txt file. So first of all, what we will do is we're going to ask the user to give us some input. So the user, we will tell the user enter a name and then also enter uh, enter student number. So we will use a scan if statement to grab both of these inputs. So we can say scan if for the first one and we will scan if by using percentage s and we will scan if this into a string or a char array so therefore we need to go and create this char array name for instance and we will say char array will be of size maybe 15 Okay, so char array will be of size 15 and then we will put it inside name. Great stuff. So we've got our first um, input, sorry, that ampersand must not be there. And then because it's a array, just always remember that because it's an array, if I just say name, it's already the address and also a nice thing just to do is we can say flush std in so we're just flushing the input okay next up we can use a scan if statement to also grab the student number. So the student number will be a student number will be an integer. So what we can do is we can say percentage D and ampersand put it inside student number. Okay, name and student number. So the user gives us input and then what we can do is we can start to write this to our file and how would we do this quite easy so let's put all of this inside a while and we say while and let's make it if the user enter a let's say a x as the name okay if the user or a minus one at the student number we don't want to um, write that to the file so if we can do a do while would work appropriately and we can say while the student number is let's say equal to one if minus one if the student number is equal to minus one we will stop okay so that will be our stop and unfortunately it will be in this case now also be written to the the file the txt file so we get the input from the user and now we want to actually write this to the file and it's actually very easy okay and how we write to the file is we say if 
printf. So file printf. And what we say is we say we're going to say cf pointer and we will write percentage s or we can start with the student number percentage d and then percentage s and we can also add a new line and then we will say the student number must be written first and then the name great so this statement actually writes to that txt file so we will write the student number and then the name and then a new line so the cursor will be on the next line so let's hope this works let's see how this will work but before we build and run this program after we have successfully did our name and student numbers that we wanted to enter we also always need to close the file that we have opened so we can just say cf pointer we need to f close cf pointer and that's just to close the file so remember it's like you're opening a text file you're writing in it and you save and you close it we always need to open and always remember to close if we don't close it it will be open and then it may become corrupt great so let's build and run and see what will happen let's just get our command prompt open here okay so the file we can assume was created so i can quickly show you that the file was indeed created i'm just going to put it there students.txt was created okay back to our program so enter name so we're going to say let's say jacob the name the student number is one two three four and that was it hmm so what was the problem so we have entered only one and student number is equal to minus one so it must not be equal to minus one it must be unequal to minus one but let's just go and have a look what happened inside the txt so if we drop the txt file here if i can get it to there we go so jacob we have one two three and jacob so let's build and run our program again and now hopefully we can write multiple names to our program so first of all jacob well let's first start with susan so that you can see it overwrites Su okay and susan is four three two one next name jacob s so that it's not the same and it's one four two three and then andrew maybe and andrew is nine eight seven six and we want to say stop maybe we're going to enter a minus one it's going to stop with this student number if the student number is number is minus one so let's see what happened in the text file so four three two one susan one four two three jacob s nine eight seven six andrew minus one stop so we don't want to write minus one stop but it was okay we could write to a text file it um, students.txt was already existing the second time around but it did clear and susan is the first one and jacob s so we can see jacob and the previous example was deleted so w is to um, 
clean the text file even if the text file exists it um, deletes all the content so let's go back to our program and we change this to a a and we see what happens now if we build and run this same project and we just need to make sure let's first close everything again i didn't close my file when i viewed it so we build and run and we bring it up here and let's say um, Dwayne maybe Dwayne and Dwayne was one 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 and Gavin is nine 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 and we're gonna say stop again and minus one and let's see what happened to our text file so the append didn't clean it it just went on writing after the stop so append is to add to a file and write is to totally wipe all the contents of that file and start new so that's the difference between the a for append and the w for write great that is how to create a new txt file and also to write to that text file. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching and I hope to see you soon.